from the newsroom at news.com.au. Well, Scott Morrison and Anthony Albanese faced off in the first debate of the campaign last night. The Prime Minister and the Labor leader answered questions from an audience of 100 undecided voters at the Sky News Courier Mail People's Forum in Brisbane. At the end of the debate, the audience cast their votes for the winner. Anthony Albanese came out on top with 40 votes. Mr Morrison had 35 votes and 25 people were still undecided. Overseas now, and Vladimir Putin has claimed that Russia has successfully tested an intercontinental ballistic missile. The Russian president said the weapon, which has been dubbed Satan-2, will make the Kremlin's enemies think twice. Putin has claimed that the missile can hit any target on Earth. Still overseas, and WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is one step closer to being extradited to the United States, where he's wanted to face trial over the publication of secret files relating to the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. A UK court overnight issued a formal order to extradite Mr Assange, but the final decision now rests with the UK government. Mr Assange's wife spoke to reporters outside of court. Boris Johnson and Priti Patel, don't extradite Julian to the country that conspired to murder him. And in sport, Wimbledon has banned Russian and Belarusian players from taking part in the tournament this year. The ban is in response to the invasion of Ukraine. It means the men's world number two, Daniil Medvedev, and women's world number four, Arena Sabalenka, will both have to sit the tournament out. To Royal News, Prince Harry's latest tell-all TV interview has aired in the United States. He was asked if he's going to attend the Queen's Jubilee events in the UK in June. Here's what he had to say. Do you think you'll come? I don't know yet. There's lots of things with security uh, issues and everything else. So this is what I'm trying to do, trying to make it possible that you know I can get my kids to meet her. During the interview, Harry also sidestepped a question about whether he missed his brother Prince William and dad Prince Charles. Do you miss your brother, your dad? Look, I mean, I'm, for me, at the moment, I'm here yeah. focused on these guys yeah. and these families and giving everything I can, 120% to them, okay. to make sure that they have the experience of a lifetime. And finally, there was speculation that Will Smith would address the Oscars slap drama on the new season of his wife's talk show called the Red Table Talk series, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Will's name wasn't among the list of guests named for the upcoming season, which will feature Kim Basinger and Janelle Monae. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.